We've got skag coming out today to do some grass chopping. We're gonna stick them in the extreme. All right, so as I promised you guys, skags come out. They've got the cheetah two and they've got the turf tiger here. Both of these are their two highest end units. Now this runs a suspension platform. Um, I'm sure you guys know this, but you can adjust this however it seats. It's not like the little um, air bladder or things like that. The whole platform will move. And you can see this here, it's all set up on a bar with a pendulum like it yeah, i can't really do it in my hand but you can see here how it is now this is a solid platform which is identical to what hustler runs x mark a lot of them so you've got a dial here that shows your seat how it functions and then you can put your weight in this runs a 24 this runs a 26 i'll go around the mower so you guys can see That's a Kenda tire. This is running a Kohler Command 980. Do you know what horsepower that is? 38. Okay, so this is 38 horsepower uh, fuel injection. This is running a 37 and a half Briggs on it, which is the same exact one that's on the Hustler. Uh, both of these are absolutely beautiful units. Now this has a final drive shaft system, correct? Like the run of it for the blade. You've got a drive shaft that runs to it, and then your only belts are back here on the back of the motor. Um, this lifts away, and you can get it out and check all that. Right here is your pumps. Uh, you can see that, and then it runs a Parker wheel motor, correct? Yes. This runs the ZT5400. Hey, hun. This runs a ZT5400 Hydra gear, which is a two-speed transaxle. Uh, you guys know my thoughts on that, but here's your parking brake that kicks on. You push the foot brake in and pull this back. This will change your gears in your parking brakes or in your, uh, speed. So if you've got a high and a low, you can mow normally in low. He was saying high is more for transport. What is the top speed in transport? 16? Uh, yes. Okay. So 16 mile per hour on transport on this, which is high. Um, it's not recommended to mow, but as you guys can see here, you can switch gears in that. This does not have that. This has a single speed, and basically you just adjust your speed in your levers that close in. Both of these have foot parking brakes. Other than that, is the deck and spindles the same on both of these units? Yes. Okay, so both of them have identical decks. They're a 61 inch cut run the same blade both of these have brand new blades uh, i'll show you guys he just put them on uh they're a high lift wing blade so you can see here i can tell that that's you know pretty open on both of those as far as how the discharge is now there's been a lot of you guys that are super excited about skag and i know on the uh chart you guys chose skag over hustler by a large margin so we're gonna see today <laughs> i know you guys are excited about that uh but anyway we're gonna do a few more tests and then i will uh tell you guys more is there anything that i forgot that is like a main point that you need to tell them um he was saying that they're they're you know, dual frame posts. So you can see here, you've got two bars on each side for rigidity. And then this whole thing, let's say you break this spindle or something off, you can actually take this off here and just replace the front part. Um, both of them are like that. Yes, same way with the uh, rollers as well. So rollers are bolt on. Um, All right. All right, so here's my Hustler sitting beside him. This is one of the only mowers that I've seen this big that has a center of gravity that looks lower than the Hustler. If you look here, there's probably a, and it is kind of downhill, but I can promise you that it's got at least an inch and a half to two inches as far as the seat depth and where it's sitting at on the platform. And what's crazy to me is the fuel tank 
is under the seat on that one, just like an X mark. So your center of gravity on this should be excellent. We'll see on a hillside test, but I guess you can see as far as length also, the hyperdrive is probably two inches longer than the Turf Tiger. And the front, my front casters, I was going in reverse, so they're turned around backwards. But the front on these two are almost lined up identical. Now, this, the parking brake, as you guys know, is in the handlebars. So when I drop this out, the handlebars go out. These all have the parking brake that's with the foot. We're going to go down here and cut some field grass and see how these do. Like I said, he's got brand new blades. These are both 61-inch cuts. This is a 66. So this is going to be taking on more grass, but it should still give you guys an idea. Now, Hustler runs some of the biggest pulleys in the industry. And so I think that's where it helps them a lot as far as taking on a lot of grass. If you look at the pulley size, especially the main pulley, it's like 12 inches. Uh, but we'll see. Um, we're going to take these down here and shoot them through the grass on it. How deep is that deck on these? Like the depth, you don't really know. I'm going to guess that these are roughly the same as Hustler. Just looking at them, I know that their discharge is wider as you can see here, it's probably, I mean, I'm gonna guess five inches wider than the Hustler. And Hustler has excellent discharge, but just judging off looks, this thing ought to discharge really, really well. Um, you can see here that Hustler runs these uh, bolted uh, deck lifts, whereas these are chain. All right, let's go run them in some grass, see how they do. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to get these decks to where they're cutting at about four inches, just like we've done with all the other ones. And right now I've got mine set on, let's see, what am I set on? Four and a half, and that's got me at four. So I'm gonna see what this one's at. You have to get on one. What is this set at? Lower it. Okay, so you're at, Three and a half, four, four, four and a half. All right, so right there. And you're saying it's usually about a quarter inch off? Yeah. How do I do that? Push it all the way in. All right, there we go. Awesome, got longer legs than me. Almost right at four, probably an eighth off. Let's see what this one is. It should be fine. I don't. I think if you jump one more, all right. So mine's an eighth over four. Drop it down one more. Do you want to go down one more or up one more? That should get me the same as yours. All right, so they're both at four with an eighth inch variance. Um, could be the concrete, who knows, but they're within an eighth of each other. Now we're gonna go out here and cut this field grass. So here's Skag. 
as you can see through there, this is cut on the same height. I'll go reverse directions and show both of them. There's definitely scragglers in both of them. This is reverse for skag. Now I can see in, in this that there's more scragglers than there is in this one. Now my right blade, it seems like they're, they're super close. I mean, no, both of those cuts are, they would definitely pass in a single pass if you was trying to chop down. I'll let you guys be the judge. For me, it's, it's really hard to judge, but it seems like this didn't pull it up as high but it's super close. I truly think this one's smoother. We'll see. Now, I want to run the cheetah through it also. And that way we can see belt to belt where that one's drive shaft. Both of those are you close. Guys keeping reminder, belt to drive shaft is the two we just run. Now he's going to run this one, which is belt driven, through this to see how it cuts. This is 66, 61, 61. You can just cut whenever you want. Just this has the most horsepower out of both machines. So this is the Skag Cheetah 2. This is their newest model. This has a 38. This is the Hustler Hyperdrive 66 inch. This is the Turf Tiger. I think the, the Cheetah did better than the Turf Tiger. I don't know why, but I think that Cheetah did better than the Turf Tiger did. You guys tell me what you think. I, I think that the uh, cheetah did better than the turf tiger, which is weird to me. This is, it's got some some scragglers that's come up, but the layover on it's beautiful. And it seems like there's a few scragglers on the middle and right discharge side. But when you're taking on that much grass, it's hard not to. What do you think? I think it done better than turf tiger. All right, so we're going to do a heel test, and we're going to take both of these down. He's going to drive them down, and I'm going to video. Basically, you'll just come straight down to me, and you're going to come right through here in this area. I'll move over to the side once you get down. So this is the Turf Tiger. This runs 26 inch tires, which has always been an advantage on hillside tests. Can you stop? Try to stop right here. Try to stop right there. Come on forward a little bit, right there. Now try to back up, all right. So that one holds the hill pretty well, which this runs Parker wheel motors. Um, and I'm a huge fan of those. All right, so this is the Cheetah 2. This runs Hydra Gear ZT 5400s and it's got a 24 inch tire on it. He's gonna try to stop in the exact same spot. He's creeping down it.
All right. Can you go backwards? So that that one done a little better than the the uh, turf tiger did. I can't believe that this one done better than that. I'm guessing the weight on this is, is what's. Yeah, probably in the how they're the weights distributed is probably a little different. Yeah, that's uh, that's impressive. I wouldn't have thought that at all. What do you think the weight difference is on these two? Mm, I think it's. You think like two hundred pounds, maybe three? I mean, just looking at them, that one looks heavy. But at the same time, this one's engine and all that stuff, you can see how low the center of gravity is. I mean, its engine's sitting probably three inches below what the Turf Tiger is. So its center of gravity is really well. But then you've got your fuel tanks in each side. So right around 200 pounds. Yeah, it kind of depends on the engine. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so he's gonna make like a normal weekly cut. I don't know if he didn't drop his deck or what. It didn't seem like it cut much off. Did you drop your deck? Did you drop your deck? No. I <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was like, there's no way he dropped his deck. That thing was cutting nothing. All right, so he's gonna go up this one. Hold on. C come over right here, this one. That one's a lot thicker. There he dropped it. Yeah, it's a good looking cut. We'll wait a second and see what stands up. You can tell how much wider the Hustler deck is with this row over here. So there's the cut. That lays the tires over well. This is a Turf Tiger. Made a good cut. There's just a few scragglers. We'll see. Let's run the Hustler, see what we get. Yeah, I was going to say that one dropped the deck. That one done a whole lot better. <laughs> I All right, so here's Skaggs, and I'll turn it in both directions. Here's Hustler. Obviously, this pat down looks better because it's opposing in the sun, but you guys can see both of them lay the tires marks down almost identical. That's one thing I noticed is I love how a 26 tends to lay it. All right, so here you go. There's a little bit of a fluff right here. You can see 
I'll go over here to the skag. There's the other direction. I mean, it's hard to tell on those two cuts uh, which one, I mean, it, like I said, it's very close. I can see a few spots. Um, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm trying to get it down in the grass as much as possible. Um, and we're cutting probably two inches off of that. Now we're gonna put them in some thicker spots right here in a second. Both of them lay a beautiful stripe. I can see a little scraggler that didn't clip there. But for the most part, I mean it. All right, so let's do it a little bit thicker. All right, so this is a two week cut. He's gonna come down this. see it not pick it up as good on that two week you can see through there but it's still a, a good cut i mean there's some stragglers in there we'll see how the hustler does I'm telling you though guys those hustlers are impressive a lot of people talk crap about them and don't know the machines and then i find it when everybody comes out everything's different talk You can tell that it, it uh, was taking on more grass. All right. I'll go up this one beside it. So this is in the sun's direction. Here's Hustler. Sun's direction. Here's Skag Turf Tiger 2. Man, they're close. You see the footprints in the grass. All right. You're gonna say go. Hold on, let it get ready. Go, go, go. So I was gonna show you the difference in serviceability on these. Um, the Hustler has greasable spindles and you can see the spindles in there. You can see under the deck, see the spindles. All three of them have a grease point on them. And then you can lift your seat up. You can see the hydraulic tank. You can see all the lines and everything. Um, I think that the Turf Tiger is gonna be more comparable to this. This runs 21 cc pumps and a Dan Foos um, pumps, and I think it's Parker Wheel Motors. Uh, this has a cooler, which runs up under here, and then it has this massive, probably 10 inch fan on top. And you can see the lines that go out to the wheel motors. They're all steel, so you're not gonna have leaks or you're not gonna have cracks on those. Those should last a lifetime. And then you can see how big all of the lines are they're very industrial i mean i'm sure that's overkill 
your batteries under there so if you need to change the battery now the one thing i really like about the hustler is let's say you're in the field and you're gonna have to change the belt i'm gonna drop this deck all the way down and you can literally change this belt with your bare hands and a pair of pliers all you do is pull this chain right here out of this it lets all the tension off of your belt and then you can take that one belt and weave it around back through there and then you can pull this chain back and tighten your belt and that's how easy it is to change your deck belt like if a stick comes up and blows it off or you know whatever you bust one um and i don't know what the lifespan is on that but that has extremely big pulleys on it as you can see all of your rear deck mounts are greasable and then your front deck mount here where it twists has a grease fitting under there the only thing i don't like is i don't know why they put this dumb bolt here to me that's uh dumb but i don't guess you've got to lift that very much now i don't know as much on these so i'm gonna let austin tell you about the serviceability on these um so grease points here here um uh, and the same i see them here, right here and back here okay um your caster wheels have grease uh zerks as well okay uh, you have grease zerks, two grease zerks on your back uh, roller. Okay. Uh, on each side. The back uh, anti-scalp rollers are uh, 12 inches uh, a piece, so 24 inch total on the back of the deck. Uh, then there on the stir tiger, there is a grease uh, zerk on the drive shaft. Uh, and there was three on the drive shaft. Okay. Now, as far as your your pump lines, I know I showed them in the beginning, but I can't remember. So you can see some of the pump lines here, they go through there. Each of them have fans on each one. Um, you can see the fans on there. See, here's your fans on your pumps. And then your wheel motors are down here. It's got pretty big lines going to the wheel motors. You can see there, there's your oil filter and stuff. And there's your drive shaft. It's crazy how the stuff going to the deck and the deck, these look so similar on these two machines. Now, he was also showing me how easy it is to level this deck. I think this is super sweet. Um, you see this bolt here? This bolt is on each of those um, plates. It shifts this lever, which then can give you make this crank back further and then it'll make this either you know go up or down depending on which way you run that bolt in and out and it's on all four so that's really easy to level the deck um, this one you take and run this bolt up or down so both of them have pretty easy deck leveling systems i've seen some that are extremely uh overthought in my opinion um, but that's a really easy system on this one how is it set up basically the same way so we have uh four grease zerks uh on your deck um left okay uh, you have two on your spindles okay and then uh you do have grease zerks uh here and here they why why do none of these companies actually put the zerk on there the reason is because mine don't have it either they're not supposed to be greased uh but like once a year okay all right uh, so, so they, they basically don't want, they don't want the homeowner over, doing it they don't want to over grease them uh, because you can have premature failure right i always just decap mine and see how much is in them that's that's not a very good idea that's not no because what happens is if this becomes uh, loose or you can get debris in there, right. then that can dust, debris, whatever, cause premature failure. But if you don't get the debris in there, what I'm saying is like, if I put mine in my shop downstairs and then I just basically decap it and see how much grease is in the spindle and bearing right there. Yeah. But you think that's a bad well, idea? Yeah, because the reasons uh, they don't want to put the grease uh, fittings in there is over greasing and right. pop, like pop that cap off. Okay. So then that'll, you know, uh, you could right get premature failure on that as well okay 
All right, so as far as your oil filter, this one's on top. You can see ZT5400 pumps, they're all kind of set up the same, although this does look like it has bigger fans than most of them I've seen with those pumps on them. How do you lift this seat? You just lift it up? No, I think it's right here. Sorry. So you can see under here, that's a suspension platform. Now, on both of these, how hard is it to change that deck belt? There's two on this one, so how hard is it to change that deck belt? Can you do it in the field? Um, or are you down for the day? It's not It's not hard to do. Um, no, I don't, you would definitely need... To me, it looks like it would be fun. Yeah. <laughs> I just, it doesn't look near as... Because as it, it's got... Not only do you have one, you know, just one, you've got two on there. So, you know, I'm sure that they... It's not, it's not a big deal. Um, do need uh, tools yeah you would probably need some kind of tool to kind of give you leverage okay is that one set up the same way or is it is it yes. well it's got a, it well, don't have well one. yeah well, all right so i don't know why i said that one this one this one has the drive going to it so you've got basically one here on top yes so it would be and then it runs back to there that's a little simpler how do you detension it how do you take the tension off of them, off the belt to change it? Uh, right here. That spring? Yeah. Okay. So I wonder if you can do that. He's talking about that spring right there. I wonder how hard that is to actually get off that hook. You think you can do it by hand? I've Probably never, not. I've never tried it by hand. Yeah, I haven't. But... It looks like a pretty cold spring. But, but it doesn't look to have that much tension on it. All right, well, basically, I, I think we've covered all the basis. If you guys got any questions, let me know. I will reach out to Austin and uh, figure it out. But uh, thank you so much, Austin, for bringing these out. I truly, truly appreciate it. You guys was able to see several different cuts. And these mowers, they're excellent mowers. I think they're, you know, some of the best looking in the industry. I'm more attracted to the Cheetah too, But from an industrial standpoint, I would definitely take the Turf Tiger over the Cheetah. But I still love my hustler. <laughs> I got the hust or the skag guy running the hustler. So you went to school together? We did go to school together. Me and Austin did. I just wanted to share with you guys some of my final thoughts on the uh, hustler versus the skags. Both of them are, you know, or all three of them are really good mowers. They all cut well in just about any scenario that I could think of. Um, to me, the Hustler is like the perfect mix. You get all the speed of a Cheetah, but you've got an industrial side uh, of it compared to like the Turf Tiger, and an even more industrial side when it comes to the pumps and things of that nature. Um, the Skag, rep was great austin i actually went to school with him really good guy and i think for a lot of you guys it's going to come down to uh dealer now if you've got a skag dealer in your area or an x mark dealer or a hustler dealer or another good mower with a dealer um you're going to want to make sure that whatever mower you get you're not going to have downtime so let's say <clears throat> Hustler has the best all-around mower, or let's say Xmark has the best all-around mower, or Skag has the best all-around mower. No matter what you pick, if you don't have dealer support, it's not going to mean anything. And if you're down a mower, you know, just like talking to Skag, if you're down a mower and you're a fleet or whatever, they're going to bring you out another mower so your day can continue. Same with John Deere, Xmark. Um, I'm not for sure about Hustler. Um, they're coming out next week. But I know that with locals uh, running Xmark and Skag here and John Deere, that they're apt to get you a mower if you need one. Um, the uh, Skag controls to me are a lot harder to push. They're just like Xmark. I don't personally like that. I think that the Hustler is super smooth and it's not as fatiguing to use it all day long. Um, the skag mowers are louder. Um, 
I don't know why uh, we was both talking about that but they're very planted to the ground they have a very low center of gravity and they hold a heel well um, they're you know well thought out seem like well you know grease fittings thought out the spindles are tapered um, very very nice setup um, but you guys can let me know in the comments what you think. I think they're a great mower. Um, to me, I still like the Hustler, uh, but everybody has their preference. One of the main reasons I really, really like the Hustler is because it has a 66 inch cut. Um, not other companies do that. So like on my property, it's huge. So if I take a 66 inch swipe compared to a 60 inch swipe or a 61, you know, after 10 cuts or so, I've already made another pass that these other companies have to make. And you can't run a 72 on properties like mine. They'll just scalp like crazy. Unless you was cutting it six inches tall and you didn't have to worry about your deck pitch. But to me, it's like the perfect mower for big properties. Anyway, hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.